Hey guys, this is another video request. And the question that we got from you guys is, Daniel, is it a sin to listen to non-Christian music? So in this video, we're gonna turn to the Bible to give you the answer. Let's get to it. So, should Christians listen to non-Christian music? Well, it's not just a straightforward answer. Yes and no. It depends on the music. Now, first you need to understand that God gave us music to enjoy. And you can see that right through Scripture. And a great example to look at is David. He sang and he worshipped God with music. 2 Samuel 22 verse 1, David spoke the words of this song to the Lord on the day the Lord rescued him from the grasp of all his enemies and from the grasp of Saul. He said, the Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock where I seek refuge. And he goes on and on just to worship God with songs. And look at how David and the singers of that time used music to praise and worship God when they carried the ark. 1 Chronicles 15 verse 16 Then David told the leaders of the Levites to appoint their relatives as singers and to have them raise their voices with joy accompanied by musical instruments, harps, lyres and cymbals. So they even used musical instruments to praise God. And today in some churches they say, no, you can't do that. You can't play any musical instruments in church, but you can if it glorifies God. David even used a harp to play to Saul to calm him down. But the most amazing picture that we get from music is the angels in heaven who sing and praise God. Job 38 verse 7 says, while the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. And Luke 2 verse 13 to 14 says, Suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to people he favors. So there's nothing wrong with music to sing and praise God. But what about secular songs that doesn't have God in it? Well, there are normal songs out there, secular songs, that sings about nature, about love, about normal things that is not against Scripture. And then you can listen to it if it agrees with Philippians 4 verse 8. It says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any moral excellence, and if there is anything praiseworthy, dwell on these things. Now, there's a lot of music that does not fit in with this verse, or the whole Bible for that matter. Most people just listen to music because it has a catchy tune, right? But they don't listen to the words, to the lyrics. Music is very powerful, and you should be careful of what you let into your mind into your thoughts because it will influence you. Songs that have lyrics in them that is just full of swearing and cussing, cursing should not be listened to. Most of the rap music today is full of it. It's focused on the sinful fleshly nature that just focus on our desires, those evil desires of the flesh. And a lot of secular songs focus on immorality and violence. It moves away from everything that is pure and that is good and you should not listen to it. An easy test that you can just do when you want to listen to a particular song is just ask yourself this question. Would Jesus listen to this song? Now you need to know that nowhere in the Bible does it say that a particular instrument or style of music is sinful or ungodly. Well, that being said, I will definitely not listen to heavy metal music because the Holy Spirit in me just does not agree with that. The best music out there will always be 
a type of music that honors and glorifies God. You can listen to secular music out there in the world that sings about normal things, but if it disagrees with scripture, then stay away from it. Remember, Philippians 4 verse 8 says, always focus on what is true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, commendable, moral excellence, and praiseworthy. Now, if you're struggling with any kind of sin, like pornography, or drinking, that you're drunk all the time, or getting angry all the time, and you want to overcome it, then please watch this video here and it will help you. And remember, God loves you, and I love you too. Bye. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to Thee.